Destiny community is upset with Bungie's new Eververse tactics that they're utilizing with Season 21. In today's video, I'm going to read through three separate top trending viral Reddit posts that are criticizing Bungie and their tactics so we can understand why the community is so upset. If you're upset, obviously you can sound off with your ideas down below. So the first post is, if shaders are going to be locked in Eververse only bundles, at least make them available for Bright Dust. Even if they are 6k Bright Dust per bundle, I don't care. The fact that we not only event card exclusive shaders, but now three separate bundles, each costing $10 in silver with shaders you cannot get anywhere else feels really shit. I don't mind throwing Eververse $10 here or $15 there. Having to spend $30 for something that was just was included in the season's last year sucks. Definitely an interesting change from Bungie on that one. And then the next post reads, looks like Bungie is really pushing silver this season. So in addition to increasing the season pass to 1200 silver, a quick look at Eververse, we also have the following. Got no Eververse armor set available for Bright Dust. I'm sure we'll get a set for Solstice, but that's not a bonus. Got three Eververse bundles with exotic weapon ornaments, which come with silver exclusive shaders. And if Eververse calendar is accurate, zero new shaders for Bright Dust. That's pretty crazy. Don't forget your new recommended page on the store, which costs not only development time, but, and to be fair, I'm assuming here, it seems to have dramatically increased the load time of the store page. Very cool. If you haven't seen that, the load Eververse is really buggy. You watch when I interact with it. Interact. Uh. I don't know what that's all about. Next, it says maybe there's some hidden stuff, but I doubt it. I have to say this is the kind of thing that rubs me the wrong way. And while I was originally going to buy one or two of the PlayStation bundles, this escalation of monetization has put it off for me completely. Probably not buying silver again if this is going to be the norm for people who don't. Let me know your thoughts. And then we have the last one here, which is an interesting one. It reads my perspective and waning faith in Destiny's monetization as the game and the game as a whole. I have only been playing for about two years, and what hooks me on the game is the fantastic gameplay coupled with the MMO aspect. But I'm losing faith in Bungie fast and here's why. Initially I thought this game was the greatest game ever but that view is slowly corroding. Initially when I started playing in Beyond Light things didn't seem too bad. There's microtransaction shop which is common nowadays and completely optional in cosmetic. Prices were a bit high but I don't buy cosmetics so whatever. The only things you needed to pay for were the expansions and seasons which is completely understandable as they provide gameplay content. As I understand the expansions used to include a dungeon too at least the previous ones. Then came the 30th pack and I thought it was seemed weird we have a dungeon included in a separate purchase but gave it a pass because its content was aimed to bridge the gap for the delayed expansion. Enter Witch Queen, where two dungeons were announced and they were both a separate purchase. Here I started questioning their decisions. I thought they were a bit greedy, leaving them as separate purchase from the expansion, but once again, gave it a pass as I thought there were getting two dungeons, so I guess that's why it cost more. I figured the deluxe edition of the Witch Queen was the best value for my money, as I had decided I wanted to keep playing the game, and if I remember correctly, it was about 80. Overall happy with the Witch Queen expansion, except the dungeon exclusion. Lightfall, man oh man. Now the digital deluxe edition is increased without explanation and things started happening like we're not getting a new ritual armor set even though they promised yearly updates on that. It's not too late yet but man give us some communication on this. The expansion weapons are reskins of forsaken weapons and seasonal weapons are reskins of other seasonal weapons which kind of sucks as I was expecting new content for a new expansion. We're missing gun features and promo material and not only got and, and only got communication on that after backlash. The campaign seemed a bit rushed and jumbled. Not much to say here. I understand schedule are tight and things might not land where you want but that's sad nonetheless now the season passes have gone up in price as well without any reason given whatsoever and a bunch of items in the Everest store have increased in price without mention and explanation just like every single update to the game breaks and a slew of things and extended downtime and emergency downtimes are bigger a bigger surprise to be with without than with the tiger engine's technical debt seems to be extremely high with the common excuse from bungie why they can't do certain things in the game being that it's technologically not possible i don't know maybe i'm just an old bitter dude but the decisions that have been going on lately have me questioning if I'm even buying the final shade. Definitely some crazy stuff. Definitely some crazy stuff. Eververse is getting pretty expensive and Bungie's making some very questionable decisions with cosmetics and Destiny 2. And hopefully we actually get a response from them from this. Let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree with this stuff down below. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.